Hey there, today I will teach moms how to bring pumped breast milk through airport security in your carry-on bags with special procedures that you need to know. And if you want to fly with breast milk, then you will probably also be packing a breast milk pump that is going to go into the airplane with you. I have some really helpful airport pumping tips as well that I will share with you throughout this video. You're going to feel so much relief and I'm so happy for you. You can do it, okay? My number one tip for bringing breast milk through airport security is that breast milk is considered medical to airport security screeners. That means, number one, your bags of milk can be packed in a cooler like the one my friend carried through airport security. I'm going to talk more about the cooler later on in the video. If you do not already have those bags for milk, these are fantastic because they have the double seams on the sides that prevent leakage as well as the double zipper on top and then it's really easy to pour it as well. One other special procedure airport security rule for breast milk is that your bags of milk do not count as liquids. So that means number one, they do not have to fit in the liquids bag. Two, take as many bags of breast milk as you want to. And number three, the airport security officers may want to see it. Like you unzip your cooler or whatever bag the bags of milk are in, and they may want to squeeze it if it is room temperature, okay? A warning for nursing mothers is my friend who is a nursing mom just went through airport security with unfrozen breast milk and they did test one of her bags, just so you know. But it's only one bag that they're going to test. Now here are some more tips for taking that breast milk through airport security. Number one, tell the transportation security officer that you have breast milk. They may say, okay, go ahead, but be prepared for them to open the cooler and squeeze the room temperature breast milk or to see if the breast milk is frozen. And I will talk about that in a little bit with the cooler. When I was waiting on my mom to get through airport security here in Houston, a mom with like three kids who could walk and a baby, she brought a tote bag with no zipper on top and she had three half gallons of that Horizons organic milk. And they let her take it through airport security. So remember, breast milk and other baby and child things are allowed in airport security, but in this instance, they wanted to check that milk. So they unscrewed the lid, they peeled off the seal for that milk and tested it, but they didn't test the other ones. The transportation security officers are so much more educated than they used to be about breast milk and other special procedures like pumps, especially when you are flying with infants or a toddler or a three-year-old. If you have never flown with a baby or a three-year-old, I have a little article that I think might be helpful for you. It's really quick and I will put that in the description box and in the first paragraph. If you do want to research on your own, you can go to tsa.gov while I'm talking. You scroll down just a little bit to medical issues. For some reason, that's where they will have children. And then in the children tab on the left hand side, you're going to see traveling with breast milk. One important travel tip from what I learned going through airport security for over 20 years as a pilot's wife, flying standby, packing in only carry on bags, also traveling by myself with an infant and breast milk is to take screenshots. So when you are researching or when I pop up pictures of the TSA website for you with these special procedures for breast milk, take a screenshot of them so that you have written proof of the website. It doesn't mean that they're going to debate you because they have gotten so much better and more understanding of what we need to take through airport security, but just in case you have an officer who does not know what the website says or who hasn't, who hasn't been updated or read those updates. And it will help you sleep better at night before your trip. The Transportation Security Administration does allow you to pack in a third bag that would have your pumped breast milk. 
This is in addition to your carry-on suitcase and your personal item bag that will go under the airplane seat in front of you or in the overhead bin since you have three bags. If you want to keep that bag of breast milk under the airplane seat, then use that as your personal item bag once you get on board. They don't care about that. But because it is a medical item like pumped breast milk, then it is allowed to be in a third bag. Another travel tip is when you do tell the airport security officer that you have breast milk in there that's already pumped, um, you want to ask them, would you like me to open the cooler for you? Or something like that. It just starts a conversation and puts them in the authority figure. And it's showing that you have done your part ahead of time to the best of your ability. When packing a cooler, if you need ice packs, those are completely allowed since the pumped breast milk is considered medical to the TSA. What that means is that if you are traveling with breast milk that needs to be kept cold with frozen ice packs, but you don't need that until after your weekend trip, then those ice packs can be squishy. Okay, they do not have to be totally frozen going through airport security. That is a such a helpful tip because you don't need them until you need them. Okay, with my friend who recently traveled through airport security with pumped breast milk, she hid her room temperature bags of milk underneath her frozen bags of milk because she was just so worried that they were going to be mad that her milk was not frozen but it is completely allowed and okay for you to take that in any form. But the ice packs, since they go with medical items, they can be frozen or room temperature as well. My friend loves this breast milk pump. And the good thing about it is, is the size dimensions. Look how small it is. It is three pounds and it is only eight inches high. So it can easily fit in your backpack, which leads me to an airport travel tip for moms carrying breast milk. Use a backpack so that you can be mostly hands-free to push the stroller or to hold the baby or to hold your coffee. <laughs> One important travel tip about your pump is to check it whether it is battery operated and how long that battery will last. I have this bag for technology cords, but you can even throw those cords and the battery parts in a gallon baggie. I don't know if you know this from one of my other travel tip videos, but wet wipes are not considered liquid. So take a tub of baby wipes. I would make sure there is no liquid in the bottom like some of those big Clorox cylinders are, um, or you can just split up, which is a great space saving tip, is to split up all of your baby wipes into little baggies and put a baggie in your suitcase, a baggie in your backpack, a baggie for the airplane ride, a baggie for the uh, changing table, that kind of thing. One super helpful travel tip is to know that airports now, most of them have a nursing room in several locations, or they may have pods like Austin, Texas. I saw pods. I mean, they're right there in the middle of the terminal, which makes it convenient for you, but it's completely private little pods that you use a mobile app for. So you would download the Mamava app onto your phone and then that's how you unlock it. And it shows you an airport map for the airport you're going to or any location, maybe a mall that you're traveling through or an amusement park even. I know in the San Diego airport, they had a huge, really nice pumping or nursing room for mothers. In Denver, they have a nursing room. And my tip is if you're looking for pods or you're looking for a nursing room, just Google that airport and you will see what most pops up in there. Like for the Nashville, Tennessee airport, you see that most of them are about pods or at the bottom of that list of searches is the nursing room. And when you go to their website that Google will lead you to, it tells you, oh, the nursing room is in this terminal and the pods are at this gate in this terminal, for instance. That is such good news. One very important travel tip that is going to help you be less stressed 
because you stress less is to research that airport if you have any kind of connection or a long layover that was supposed to be only a 55 minute layover. It could be delayed for many reasons this year. So research that airport to find out if they have a Mamava pod or a nursing room ahead of time. Here's a tip for walking through the airport with pumped breast milk. You want a bag like your personal item bag to have a zipper because you're going to be less stressed. You want it to contain everything in there so you do not lose anything. You do not forget anything that has fallen out. My tips are to use a cooler that zips and has like a trolley strap on the back if you can find that or to use a J hook a lot of flight attendants use a J-hook on their suitcase handle that would hold their toiletry bag, for instance, but it would hold that cooler if you have it. And just take my tip to have one of those bags be a backpack. Well, another very, very important travel tip is even if you are flying with breast milk in the winter, be prepared to sweat like crazy. I don't know what it is, the hormones maybe, but have a base layer of a t-shirt and do not wear a vest because when you get hot and start sweating, you cannot tie a vest around your waist. So have a cardigan, sweatshirt, hoodie, make it easier on yourself. I'll have all of the links to what I talked about in the first comment or in the paragraph right underneath this video, just like all my other videos. But my travel channel, travel tips by Laurie channel is so great and helpful because of viewer comments. So take a second to leave your tip and trick tips and tricks that you've learned or can pass along to other moms. I hope you do so well and just remember, you're never going to see those passengers again. So have a good time and do not worry if your baby cries or do not cry over spilled milk. <laughs> Imagine being married to me.